Hey everyone, I'm Tracy, if you're new here. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I like to show what I've sold through these videos and I've had such great response lately. So thank you if you've reached out to me or left comments or told me, keep it up, that you enjoy seeing what I sell and why I sell them. I kind of ramble on sometimes about some of these items. So it's nice to know that someone's out there enjoying it. So thank you. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not and hit the bell notification if you'd like to receive alerts when I make videos. So let's check out 25 items that I've sold on eBay recently for profit. Okay, you'll notice that sometimes my original prices of my items are weird. Like this one started out at $35.39 and that's because I bulk edit a lot of my prices when I feel like I need to move things faster or I'm not, re um, I'm not receiving sales in the fashion that I want to. So I mess with my pricing all the time and it leaves my numbers skewed and weird. I do take best offers right now. I normally don't but right now I'm just trying to clear some things out of my store so take that into account this was a dress by Tibby Tibby's a decent brand um, if you find it look it up this was not anything you know super great but it did sell for $24.77 I had it for quite some time because it's a size 4 and small sizes just take longer to sell um, that's just typically the way it goes not always but a lot of times small sizes take a longer time uh, when you can get us cheap and you don't mind holding on to it go for it so Tibby definitely a decent brand and worth looking up not always all right I have sold a lot of cloisonne jewelry um, especially lately people really search this out cloisonne is this enameled and metal look to jewelry you can feel where the metal is like on these flowers here you can feel the ridges of the metal and the enamel is filled in so I do love finding cloisonne jewelry it does well I love vintage jewelry I can sell costume jewelry just as easily as I can sell um, fine jewelry so don't um, don't think twice about it just pick it up if it's cheap and in good shape these this necklace had uh, cobalt blue glass beads. It was just stunning, and it did not take long to sell to sell at all. So I got thirty-seven seventeen plus shipping on this one. I do free shipping on most of my jewelry, but this one I don't know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes some of them sneak in there and have shipping added. <laughs> I don't know. I can't always explain myself and why I do what I do. I go by my mood. But you definitely want to look out for cloisonne jewelry. This is a pop-up baby book by um, Pleasant Company, which is also the American Girl Company. Before they took the name American Girl, they were known as Pleasant Company, and that's because of the owner of that company's name being Pleasant T. Rowland. So this took quite a while to sell. I'd had, I'd had it sold a couple times without it ever being paid for. So finally somebody purchased it and paid so I could ship it out. But I do love vintage items and I tend to pick them up. I got 3303 plus shipping on this one. JJ Jonette, um, they do fairly well, not huge, huge money. Some of the pieces are more valuable than others. I had this for a bit, maybe, I don't know, eight months or so. And most of their jewelry, or brooches anyway, they're very much known for their brooches, are made of pewter. And let me see if I can find the marking. There you go. This right here is the JJ signature and people do search for this so not huge money all the time but definitely something that will sell you know I when I find JJ I know it's not gonna sit around and like I said I'm taking some smaller offers I'm trying to move things out and create better sales as a part-time seller I feel like I just need to generate more sales so I got 1239 plus shipping on that one Eddie Bauer's not 
a big brand that I look for, but if it's in good shape and it's a specific style of shoe or jacket, I will definitely purchase it. They're made well and some people do really search it, but you just need to know your profit margin. You know, you need to keep your buy-in price right. So these penny loafers I got $30 for with free shipping and I think I took I think somebody messaged me on this one and asked if I would take $30 free shipping and I changed it for them because I do not do free shipping on shoes ever. I believe that's what happened. <laughs> it's hard to know. So many things happen in the eBay world <laughs> of reselling. But 30 bucks, you know, I probably paid a dollar or two. I really am bad at telling you what I paid for things. Some things I remember and some things I don't. But I know I made a profit, so they're out the door. Vintage Culver uh, glassware, drinkware. I love it. It's not usually signed Culver, so you have to kind of know your glassware or do your research. And these were a Hawaiian theme. I... I just have a thing for them. I don't know why I picked them up. I know I'm not going to make a ton, but I usually find these at yard sales. And, you know, I I believe these were in a box of about 12 glasses of different variety. And so, I, you know, over time I've made my profits just fine. So I got $11.50 plus shipping on these. Queen and Adam Lambert um, concert VIP bag. There are better ones of these out there that sell for better. This one I got for a dollar at a yard sale and I sold it for $19.50. There's not a lot to say other than, you know, if you find a better quality one that they have different varieties, you can do very well with them. Um, a lot of them did quite well. This one is $19.50 plus shipping. Okay, a vintage dragon gas um, pocket lighter. I had about a hundred lighters and I am selling off the very ends of that buy-in. This one I got $14.57 plus shipping. Molly Hatch is a great brand of mug. It's from Anthropology. It sells well. People love them. You can sell these on Poshmark now as well. So if it hadn't have sold so fast here on eBay, I would have had it on Poshmark. Or actually I think I had it on Poshmark and it sold in a couple days so this was their wellies design and um, I got $23.45 for this plus shipping guys that's really great money I still love the mug life this is one of those um, flannel lined shirt jackets they do well a lot of people really like these it doesn't really matter the brand it matters what the quality is on these and LL Bean is a searched out brand by a lot of people um, I don't search for LL Bean everything, but there's certain things, and this is one of them. Jackets and shirt jackets are definitely something I do look for in LL Bean. This was an extra large tall, which helped it sell. I always do well with tall sizes, um, and the larger the better. So this one I got $35.51 plus shipping. I think that's fantastic, actually. It was in great shape, too. Dansko shoes. <laughs> they fluctuate for me. I used to do really well with a lot of Dansko shoes. Now I'm pretty picky on the ones I'll buy. These were in almost new condition. Um, I think they had like, what did I put? A glue discoloration spot. Like that was the only issue with them on the inside. Like you couldn't, they were perfect condition otherwise. So they did very well. Um, these were the Becky. Every pair of Dansko's has a name for the style. These were even a small size. I don't like to pick up small sizes in shoes, but a size six in women's, um, they did fine. So I got 43, 48 plus shipping. <laughs> Space Jam. I thought this would be better. <laughs> it was one of those things I didn't even look up when I found it. Um, maybe I should have kept it. <laughs> I liked it. But these do fine if you find the Space Jam t-shirts that have the Looney Tunes characters on it. They do great. Uh, this one, not so much. I took an offer on this. See, the price isn't showing there. I hate that eBay does it that way. But I took an offer for $10 plus shipping on this. And I got that offer and I took it fast because it was never going to sell. 
But the ones with Looney Tunes, look those up for sure. A lot of them are very good. Oriani handbags. Uh, I do pretty good with these. Typically, let me see, I think I took an offer on this. Yes, I did. I got $35 for this, not what it says there. But I got shipping on top of that, and they're just really nice leather bags. So do check out the Oriani leather bags. This was just a vintage desk pen holder. I think this was something from my family, you know, that I just had in a box in the attic at some point. So I sold it because I don't need it. It's not really my style. Uh, I got sixteen fifty-two plus shipping. This is like some of these things do well. This one just wasn't one of them. There's your um, tag. Lasercraft was the brand name on that one. This was a set of three cross brand ballpoint pens. They can do very well. A lot of them do very, very well. These were just the mediocre variety. Um, I got this in a bag of ballpoint pens. And in that bag, I had a Mont Blanc a while back and sold that for well over $300. So I always look at pens after that sell because that was so exciting to have accidentally found such a great pen. These, they're okay, and I don't think that's what I got for them. Let me just double check. I do have my little information down here. No, I did not get that price for these. I got $27.50 plus shipping. So not fantastic, but also not horrible for pens. <laughs> I wish they were the better variety though. So do look at cross pens. There are some great ones. These are just, I think you can buy these on Amazon cheap even. Brighton. Love the Brighton jewelry. This um, took a little longer to sell than I thought it should, but it sold eventually. It was reversible and it did have some wear like a lot of Brighton does. Not a ton of wear, but really check over your Brighton jewelry. It has a lot of finish wear issues in my opinion and a lot of it's really desirable too so I do always look at the Brighton jewelry and if I see the Brighton tens they're usually heart shaped or oblong shaped I buy those too at yard sales because if I get Brighton jewelry I like to ship it in the tin and I think it does help the the sale so always look for those too if you can get them really cheap Brighton doesn't sell super high always this one I did get $29.95 plus shipping the yellow candy dish, it was vintage, and sometimes these are called deep cut glass. This one was pressed glass, so I did put pressed in the title. It's important if it's deep cut or pressed. When it's pressed, you'll see seams in it, and it'll be kind of obvious, and the cuts aren't so sharp. They'll be kind of rounded on the edges instead of um, a real blunt cut. Anyway, this, you know, I just buy glass in boxes <laughs> and lots, um, and I sell them off as they go. They, they, they are a longer tail item typically, but I got 1602 plus shipping on that. No, I'm sorry guys, I did not get 1602. I took an offer for $14 on this one, but I did get shipping. I don't sell a lot of sports gear because I'm not good at sports gear, but I do know some names to look for and when I find them cheap, I will risk it or, you know, I thought this one would do a little bit better, but it still did great. D, I can't even say it, <laughs> D Marini, I think is how you say it. I know their bats do very well. This was for softball and I didn't even know that, so I had to ask a friend of mine, Tommy, <laughs> so he helped me with that. But I like to learn these things, so I hope I can keep finding things that I can um, use as learning tools for myself. And um, I don't know, it did well. Thirty-three twenty-seven is what I got plus shipping. That fit into a padded flat rate, very easy to ship. So that was a great sell. Um, I had a vintage dollhouse that came with a bunch of furniture. I sold the dollhouse with a lot of the furniture and then I took some of the pieces to sell individually just to increase my profits because I felt like if I sold all the furniture I wasn't going to really like get that much more for it. So this baby grand piano um, from the 70s did very well for something so tiny and easy to ship. It was 1215 plus shipping. 
I received a box full of maps and pamphlets and ephemera is what they call that. I was going to list them all individually and try to learn ephemera. Oh, holy heck no. I can't do it. It's not for me. So I lotted things up. I did get a lot of different lots and I just kind of put them together how I felt it needed to go. So this was road maps of different varieties. Some of the lots that I put together are just Exxon or just Conoco or, you know, different gas station brands and whatnot. I don't know. I'm learning this market um, in a bad way <laughs> because <laughs> to really learn it, I think you probably have to sell them individually and take small profits. And I didn't want to deal with that. That was very time consuming. So this is the way I'm doing it. Um, I've sold several lots of these so far. This was a lot of 14, and I think that's pretty darn good. I got them free, so anything's good. And I got 1959 for 14 maps. Like that's pretty cool, plus shipping. Yay me! <laughs> Took the easy route. Okay, Golden Goose. I love that brand. Oh my gosh, you guys! If you see Golden Goose boots or anything shoes tennis shoes whatever you find golden goose look them up i've sold them before these had damage this was a low low price for these boots like they should have gone for about two hundred dollars but the whole zipper has to be replaced in one of them so somebody purchased them and i decided to reach out to them and make sure they knew that the zipper needed replacing because I didn't want to deal with paying for the shipping to come back. I do offer free returns. So the lady that bought these messaged me back. She was so nice. She thanked me for reaching out to her and she said she realized that and that she's going to take them somewhere and have the zipper replaced. But guys, Golden Goose, don't pass it up. I tell you, it's so, so good. I still got $80 for these boots plus shipping and I know because I took these to a place here in town they wanted $50 to replace that zipper so I hope she can get a better deal than that but that's a lot of money that I didn't want to put into these I figured someone can buy them and do it themselves so love that brand Lululemon cargo shorts not a whole lot to say about them they took a while to sell. They're not the typical Lululemon product that people look for. And they were women's and they look like men's, but they're women's. Um, so it did take some time, but finally they are out the door at $31.25 plus shipping. Well, let me double check because who knows? <laughs> nope, took an offer. Sorry. <laughs> they were $25 and I was quick to take that offer. I do remember now because they're just not that popular and Lululemon's pretty saturated so you really have to have the right piece to get the great great money out of them oh my gosh you guys I bought a lot of pewter animals like little figurines from shop goodwill at one point I remember I paid ten dollars for a bag of them I've done great on these I mean really incredible. I lotted most of them up, but there were a few pieces in there that were valuable on their own, and this was one of them. Tom McCain was the artist. I don't, I'd don't. i never heard of him. I looked him up, and it was just a really cool piece um, of, what was he, a horny toad lizard? I, I couldn't believe somebody would pay the price for this thing. <laughs> It always shocks me, but it's cool. I took an offer on this one. I got $25. $25 for this tiny little, I mean, it's not big. It's little. Oh, these Radica games. Oh my gosh. I love finding these new and packaged. I mean, they do fine sometimes without being new. But when you find them new and packaged, and they had a $3 sticker on it in a charity shop, you grab it. I didn't even look it up in the store because I just knew it was going to do well. And I actually undersold mine. You can get more than what I got for these. I I go through spurts where I just need sales and I will take offers and um, lower prices and, you know, just to get mine gone. And I don't like to undercut the market, but 
sometimes I need money. <laughs> so that was the case here. You could sell this on Amazon for way more. I just happen to not sell on Amazon, and that's, you know, a big mistake in my life, I'm sure, but it is what it is, whatever. I got 9505 plus shipping on this thing. Okay, last item is this vintage vanity set. I probably will never buy one of these again. They don't do that great. They take forever. This was silver plated. It was in great shape. I'm sure I got it cheap. I've had it for a long time. I just, I won't do it again. I can't unless it were real silver um, or something super special. But I did get, well, I better check before I lie to you again. <laughs> What did I get? I got 3606. Okay, that's correct. Plus shipping. So, I mean, not a horrible sale. It just took forever. And there's so many of these that I don't want to deal with them again. Anyway, that's my sales. Um, I hope you learned something or, or not. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. I'm a small time seller and I like doing what I do. So, Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.